I'd like to be remembered as a good guy instead of a bad guy, because everybody wants to be good. Maybe I'd like to re be remembered as a martyr for truth. He's an extraordinary, enigmatic visionary. It's the kind of art that makes you really stop and think. Making Hitler into a teapot is just, I, I find it hilarious. Funny and ironic and uh, with a, a kind of morbid depth. He is a brilliant ceramicist. It makes a lot of people uncomfortable, and it should make people uncomfortable. He's not, he's not a Nazi. Charlie had a big reputation uh, early on, and deservedly so. I thought that if I moved up to into a, a place that was as isolated as Fishtown, that I could be all with myself, and that I could learn to meditate. Have you? No. I was baptized a Christian, and I rejected my Christianity and went to the East on five different occasions looking for some sort of guidance, spiritual guidance. I was introduced to uh, political art and music through my association with uh, Leibach. That's where I got bitten with the bug of starting to use political imagery in my art. The essential Charlie that I know is a guy who became offended by the idea of thought crime. The six million. Why is this one thing, the one thing that we can't touch? It's, he's a provocateur. It's more, I think, about being a dick. To get a reaction, certainly. People think it's controversial, but I look at people looking at this work, particularly the teapots, and the initial response from almost everyone is a big smile comes across their face. <laughs> Unfortunately, he's stepped in the crap, and I'm not sure where that's going to take him. I'm just the avant-garde of this. Charlie Kraft. Very strange man. I hope you still love me as much as I love you. I miss you and look forward to the spring when my water level will be back to a normal 18 feet and we will once again be together.